Now this is a 40 foot tarp that I have completely jam packed, filled with two cycles, about three feet tall. But this time of year, I don't wanna fix trimmers. I don't wanna fix push mowers. That's not what's gonna sell. I need to find me something like a chipper shredder or a generator. Hey y'all, thanks for tuning back to Chicanic. I hope everybody's having a great week. If you've been watching my videos, you know we just got done closing down our shop that we had for 12 years. We moved everything out of it to our new 40 by 50 shop at the house. And to tell you the truth, I ran out of room, just like you guys said I would. I have so many units that are sitting outside underneath the tarp that are full of good parts. Some of them can be repaired. I'm definitely gonna sell a bunch of this stuff. But the only way to start knocking down this mess is to start fixing stuff. Now this is a 40 foot tarp that I have completely jam packed, filled with two cycles, about three feet tall. But this time of year, I don't wanna fix trimmers. I don't wanna fix push mowers. That's not what's gonna sell. I need to find me something like a chipper shredder or a generator. Now every year we would see about 2000 pieces of equipment. That doesn't mean that we'd fix 2000 pieces of equipment because a lot of times things either weren't worth repairing or we'd call the customer, give them an estimate. And even though they might've been worth repairing, the customer didn't want to do it. So I end up with a lot of free equipment that was completely abandoned at my shop. Which brings me to this. This Generac generator has been sitting at the shop for two years. When the customer dropped it off, they brought it in without a rewind on it. The gas tank was on it, but we removed it to um, remove the old gas and it's sitting over there. I got a story about that in just a second. Oh, great. It's raining. So what we initially knew on this one, it needed a $50 rewind. It needed a weld job on the tank and hopefully not a complete tank replacement, either a carburetor or just a clean out and we gave them an estimate about 150 bucks. Gave them the estimate and it's been two years now we haven't heard back and we call at least every two to three months to remind them that they have something at the shop, never an answer. So it's mine now. Why would somebody leave a $600 generator when it only needs a $150 repair or a $250 lawnmower when it only needs an $80 repair? I don't know, but people do it all the time. Now the weird part about this repair was the tank. Like I told y'all, it needed to be repaired, which was extremely odd because when we spoke with the customer, they said that this had never been to a shop before, that no one had ever worked on it. So it had to have come from the factory this way, but there's no way. On the bottom part of the gas tank, see there's the fuel shut off right there. We found these holes, which at the time weren't leaking, but whatever this is in these holes, it's like, rubber i just broke it through here's another one i i don't know how this could have happened that's a tiny little one there so yeah i've never actually broke them through before this is the first time i've pushed through all the way we just could feel that they were rubber so this thing's got to be cleaned up completely sanded and welded so yeah i think with a weld a rewind and some carburetor work i can get this thing going again let's get on it and before I continue, I might just tell you all about my shirt here. I know it looks different than what I normally wear, but I have an imposter that is stealing all of my videos off of YouTube and putting them on TikTok. His account is called Dan Becker 5 Chicanic. And I wouldn't really mind anybody posting my content. You know, I would actually take it as a compliment and it'd be pretty cool. But the fact is he's using my profile picture and responding back to the commenters as if he was me. So I'm really not cool with that. And if you just happen to be on TikTok and you see my videos and it's the account Dan Becker 5 please report them. So I'm preparing this to weld it, but I'm seeing some things that troubled me a little bit. When I started to take some of this chunky stuff out of these holes, I can see some rust and I really didn't take a good look at this end whenever I first got into this tank. I just looked at this side and it looked pretty spotless. So I think after I uh, sand these holes up a little bit for the welds, before I do it, I'm going to get my endoscope out. I'm going to look inside this end of the tank and make sure we're not rusted out. Oh, and just so you know, I have filled this completely up with water since it did have gasoline in it. I rinsed it out a ton of times, filled it up to the top with water to get all them fumes out because I don't want to blow up.
All right, I got her all sanded up. Let's see what she looks like inside. That pitting though is so weird. You don't ever see that. My HD endoscope, I use the one by Depth Tech. I leave it a uh, link to one in the description box below the video because these are awesome. So it's got a little camera with a light on the end. We're gonna go in here and I already checked this out. And this is, this is sort of crazy. If I can get it again here, you gotta go deep down, hold on. Yeah, what is this? It's like a acidy rust pocket. That ball back there, that's for the float for for it. But this is this is those holes that you can see from the outside. And I just don't know about that. That's sort of crazy, but I think we can weld it. We're gonna try. So while Ron's welding that up, because although I do a little welding, I don't wanna be trying to hone my skills on a unit that I'm planning on selling. I'm just not that good yet. So I'm gonna go ahead and put on this new rewind that I've got and make sure whenever you're putting on a new rewind that you make sure to orientate it the way that you want it. This one goes like this. And while we got it to this point, we might as well go ahead and pull the carburetor off because it has been sitting for two years. All right, so everything's chaos here. I got a little makeshift bench here on one of my new toolboxes, but this is gonna be telling, we're gonna open this carburetor up and see what's inside. Hopefully it looks good, I don't know. Oh, let's see. Awesome, no, it looks perfect inside. This makes me happy, I think I can just pick through the jet and put it back together and it might work. So found out something a little unfortunate. Whatever they make this fuel tank out of is not really good metal. It's some kind of cast that does not weld well. So we ended up having to JB weld it after we added a little bit of metal to the holes, which is not that bad. It's still gonna work, but I can't sell this. So I have two options here. I could either invest in a brand new tank, which the OEM tanks $250. You can find aftermarket tanks for about $45, but I don't know if I wanna do that because really I got family members who could just use a generator for free. So let's pop this back on, put some gas in her and see if she runs. I went to go put it back together and realized there was an entire bracket missing to put the gas tank on. Thank goodness it was still in my pile. <laughs> I do want to check the oil and just make sure. It's actually not that bad and it does have oil in it. So I'm going to change it, but it's good enough to try to start it. when you turn them on. Make sure the gin part works.
Did y'all hear that? Man, that thing purrs. I am super excited to give this to a family member. I know they're going to love this gift. It's awesome to be able to turn somebody's abandoned trash into my treasure. And I got lots of it. So thanks again, guys, for tuning into Chicanic. If you haven't found me at Facebook, find me at facebook.com slash Chicanic. Find me on Instagram at The Real Chicanic or find me at Chicanic.com where you get your own t-shirts, hoodies, and long sleeve shirts. Thanks, guys, and have a great day.